John Glenn's Triple Orbits Around the Earth by Henry Wren, Sumter Brinson, and Evan Yuri, co-CEOs of Pigman Productions, directed by Duck. Duck. On February 20th, 1962, John H. Glenn made history by becoming the first American to orbit Earth and land safely. Weeks before, NASA attempted to do this, but the mission was delayed 10 times since January 16th. On the morning of the 20th, 100,000 people watched as the Atlas rockets pushed a capsule called Francis 7 into the air. <laughs> As John Glenn was launched into a trajectory with a low point of 99 miles and a high point of 162 miles, he started to reach a speed of 17,544 miles per hour. During his first orbit, he saw a sunset over the Indian Ocean, a dust storm over Kano, Nigeria, and the outline of a city over Perth, Australia. Friendship 7 experienced several issues in its near five hours in flight. The concerns included heat shield and landing bag problems. As Glenn got down to the process of re-entering the atmosphere, he realized that the heat shield might be torn off during the process of landing. Glenn responded to the problem by switching to a technique called fly-by-wire. Now he can control the vehicle by manually moving the control stick. He maintained this until he splashed into the Atlantic. He was picked up by the destroyer Noah. Glenn's first words were, it was hot in there, so he drank a glass of iced tea. Shortly after landing, President Kennedy congratulated Glenn by radio telephone. When he returned home, he was treated like a hero. The event was called, as one newspaper called it, the greatest day in space. <laughs>